What's up guys? This is Fahrenheit back again with another video. So this time, I'm. Um, this is going to be a uh, part two of a previous video that I did about uh, a hypothetical Marvel vs. Capcom 4 and what characters uh, I would like to see in said game. And I was curious to see what characters other people also would like to see if a game would hypothetically be made, right? So this is the part two of that, uh, that video. Um, that video was, that I already did, was of the Capcom characters that I would like to see in a Marvel vs. Capcom 4. This video is going to be of the Marvel characters I would like to see in a Marvel vs. Capcom 4. This, it's going to have the same kind of, uh, uh, same kind of rules that I had for the last one, at least that I set for myself, where all the characters chosen have to technically be new characters that have, or, or characters that haven't been in a Marvel vs. Capcom game before, or a uh, Capcom crossover game before. Admittedly, I don't know as much about Marvel's characters as I, as I kind of do Capcom characters, or, or rather, I'm just more familiar with, you know, Capcom characters being in the realm of a fighting game. So I, I didn't do as much research or, or as, as heavy thinking on uh, how these characters would play. So I figured what I do is I just go ahead, get on here, and just kind of brainstorm while I make the video on what I thought these characters could play like, and kind of just you know see what comes to me. Okay, so I have a list of characters that I thought would be cool to see in a Marvel vs. Capcom 4. So I'm just going to go down the list and just kind of, just I don't know, spitball some ideas of how I think they could fit into this hypothetical Marvel vs. Capcom 4. The first character I have on the list is the Punisher, Frank Castle. I thought, like, that was one of the first characters that for some reason came to me when I thought of a character in Marvel vs. Capcom. And I think one of the reasons was I started thinking, like, okay, a lot of people... They did Cable, right, for Marvel vs. Capcom 2. The Viper Beams, the Gunshots, all this stuff, the Hyper Vipers, all that stuff. They, they, loved, they loved Cable. So I was thinking to myself, alright, well, Cable is X-Men. And there's not going to be any X-Men on this list. I forgot to mention that. I'm not going to mention any X-Men on this particular list. That's going to be for another list. So I thought to myself, okay, well, what about... What, what character is Marvel flexing on right now? And one of them is the Punisher. And I thought to myself, I was like, all right, well, I mean, he's got he's got all that stuff that that Cable has, right? And all the artillery and stuff. He's like a, a walking army, basically, right? So that could basically be that element of him. And for anybody who saw Daredevil season two, the way Frank Castle was in that, he was insane. It was like the prison scene. He was he was a beast in that. So you could just take that element and then take the fact that he's like a walking army, and you you basically have like Cable slash. Wolverine into one character, which would be like so. It's like you're taking care of two birds with one stone in a way with this one character. So I think that would be kind of like a cool thing they can do. And of course, you know, as for Marvel, that could help their bottom line because that is something that they're trying to promote currently. So I think that's like a good kind of business move as well as a creative move right there. So the next character I have on the list, I have Matt Murdock, Daredevil. Now, uh, honestly. I, I feel like it would be cool to see Daredevil, and I know that that's one of the characters people have mentioned before that they'd like to see. And so I was thinking to myself, all right, he's pretty relevant. The Netflix show was really awesome, uh, season one and season two. I enjoyed both of them very much. And I'm like, all right, so he's a current character also, right? All right, so then I'm thinking to myself, what can I do with him? So I'm, I'm thinking of this stuff right now, right? I'm thinking of this right now. Um, maybe, you know... See, this is one of those situations where I feel like the personality of the character as well as their power really can help to supplement how they would play in a fighting game, right? How, what would their mechanics be based on those things? And so I'm thinking, all right, he was like a master, like, martial artist, right? So that he's, he's got to be somewhat rushed down, somewhat of a rushed down character, right? He's got, like, the, the twin, like, uh, 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 what, are, what are the things, Cali sticks or whatever they are, right? So he's got those, he can play on those. Maybe, you know, have like some moves similar to like Eagle and in, uh, in, in from Street Fighter, right? Kind of like spin him around a little bit, get kind of fancy with him. I think he can also like shoot grappling hooks at him or something. So maybe have that element in there. Uh, maybe he can like put them together, snap them together, make like a, a, a staff out of it. I don't know. I, I think that's something he could do. And then maybe like, see, I, I'm thinking like, how could they utilize like his his power though, right? Like, cause he has heightened senses. Like he has like a, like his hearing is heightened to such a degree. It's almost like a, like a type of sonar or something like that, right? It's like the replacement for his eyes. So maybe they could 
like somehow incorporate a type of like unique parrying system with him or maybe maybe they could have him where if he does certain special moves have like a unique way to like cancel out of them to make himself safe um, in certain situations so like if you jump in the air and do like a, a certain attack but you know Ryu does like a, a dragon punch then you can cancel out of that and and flip backwards if you predict that he's going to do the dragon punch and it 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 pulls you out of that 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 command that you just did similar to like uh like a roman cancel or a rapid from uh an arc system works game where it basically just cancels your animation into another animation but it'll be a special like uh, like a unique mechanic to him specifically and so maybe that will be kind of like a way where the 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 game the game design is kind of like saying okay this is his senses firing off and so like it's it's kind of like adding that into the mechanics i don't know like something maybe something like that right but i imagine he would definitely be a rushdown character maybe you have like rekkas so like for anyone who doesn't know like that's when you do like um you you hit like quarter circle forward and then punch over and over again something like that and they just like he'll just like keep attacking keep attacking keep attacking until he gets to the like, end of his combo string you know i could see him being like a character like that but he'd definitely be a rushdown he could have some pretty cool like martial arts based moves the next character i have on my list is black widow natasha Romanov or Natalia Romanova. Like, she, she, she's, got, she's got a pretty sexy name. Um, but uh, Black Widow. Let's see. I that's a character I actually I've I've wanted to see in a Marvel's Capcom um, ever since the first Avengers film came out a few years ago, and I fell in love with that film. Thought it was awesome, right? So I'm like, well, she needs to have her own film right so that didn't happen for a number of reasons maybe i might talk about that one day in the video but it would be cool if she could end up in the marvel vs capcom game right she'd have some badass moves i would imagine right but then i you know now i have to ask myself well, what could she bring to the game like what would she, how would she play maybe i don't know like i was thinking well okay she's an operative she's she's you know expert at hand-to-hand -hand combat probably all the basic things all that stuff so maybe she'd have a certain degree of rushdown right um certain degree of like firearm uses so some 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 range you know i've seen her in comics she you know she'll be using like sniper rifles you know she had her, her her 45 her handguns or whatever maybe some some grenades or some kind of uh demolistics or i don't even think that's a word but like you know like explosives and in my mind like i'm actually kind of imagining her being like a marvel vs capcom version of like nina williams from tekken so maybe like take like nina williams from tekken and take like maybe more so the uh street fighter cross tekken because this is that's the 2d version uh of nina williams right and just basically take like some of her strings like i imagine like uh, black widow having like combo strings up close and being able to like combo into like different kind of like command grabs that will chain into other command grabs similar to like a uh, like nina williams um, she would have like maybe she can like stun the opponent, right? She has like those those, those things like she can shoot electricity out of those, those things on her arms. And I think she had like dicks that could also like uh, and, and, and uh, I think Age of Ultron, Avengers: Age of Ultron, the the film. She had like these electric like con things. So like be able to like stun the opponent to like continue combos and things like that, or maybe like have like a counter where if you counter just you parry just in time, you hit him and you could stun him to set up like a, a devastating combo. Things like this, right? So I, I imagine that something something along those lines, you know, and hopefully they they would add a little bit of spunk to her character because that's one of the things about her in the movies I always liked that she she was about her business, but she also had a little bit of spunk. Like she knew she was good at what she did, right? So hopefully they add a little bit of that. But that's what I would like to see. Maybe something kind of like that for her. The next character I have on this list is actually a character that I'm, I'm a little surprised I've never heard anyone or seen anyone mention, um, considering how popular I think the character is. Loki from Thor. Now I say I mentioned him just because I think you know he'd be a popular character, um, or I know he is a popular character at least in, in in the cinematic universe. But I feel like you know he looks pretty cool. I always liked his his design, like his outfit design looked really cool. And I, I don't I'm, you know I'm thinking about how he would play right now, and immediately I'm thinking to myself, well he couldn't be a rushdown character. He'd have to be a range character of some kind you know, a, deceased, a, a, a deceitful character, right? Because, you know, he's he's Loki. He's, he's like the, the Norse god of deceit, and cunning, stuff like that, right? 
Um, so he'd have to be like one of those characters that sets traps for you. Um, yeah, like he lays down traps, like some some something in that regard where he lays down traps. He's he's definitely more range based, more defensive kind of character where you have to set up traps and then kind of capitalize on your opponent's mistakes and then really get damaged that way. So that's how I imagine they would maybe go about that. So, I mean, yeah, he could be kind of cool, and I think he might bring something pretty unique to the table. Oh, and also, they should give him, like, an alternate skin where he's, um, uh, like, a premium skin where they, they give him, like, the female version of Loki. I don't know where that came from, but I just know that's a thing where it's, like, the female Loki. They just have to they change her design and her her, uh, her voice, and that could be kind of cool, too. So you have, the, you have the normal Loki and you have the female Loki. So I think that would be pretty dope. Okay, so the next character I have on my list is a character I actually thought about a while back and it excited me to see this character even though I don't know that much about the character and that's Medusa of the Inhumans. I don't know all that much about the Inhumans but I, I've been seeing them you know a bit more lately they've been it seems like Marvel's been kind of trying to flex on them a bit more lately and, and Medusa in particular is one of those characters that as I see her in like in the comics they tend to draw her really well and I like the idea it, for me as an artist of a character with like big shapes that you can play around with. Um, and I really like Medusa in the sense that when, you know, her, her, her hair seems to take different shape depending on her emotional state sometimes. So like if she's, you know, calm and graceful, her hair is like light and airy and flowy. And if she's angry, like it juts back and forth and up and down and it cuts through things and it takes like very angular shapes. And I kind of like that as an artist that appeals to me, like that, like the idea of drawing these shapes, having these kind of these shapes to play with. Um, when thinking about compositions and, 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 uh, and things like that. I think that that's one of the things that I always thought it would be cool to see a character like that with the, her ability to utilize her hair um, in a fighting game where she could give her a lot of cool animations and do all kinds of crazy funky stuff with her with her hair in terms of range attacks and things like this. And basically the, the, very, the most basic concept for how she would play that I came up with that actually made me excited was if she basically played like Melia Rage from Guilty Gear. If you literally just took the, you basically, at the most basic level, you just took the concept of Melia Rage, but in Marvel vs. Capcom 4. To me, that's pretty freaking dope. It's just like, it's just, just do that, right? She's just a red-headed Melia Rage. <laughs> and a purple spandex outfit. I'd be, I'd be for that. I think that'd be pretty cool. Uh, anyway, um, the, the next character is also an Inhuman. Black Bolt. Now, I'm not, I'm not like super crazy on Black Bolt's character design. I've never been really that crazy about the way his, his outfit looked. It always seemed kind of lame to me. And also, his, his, his alter ego name, I think, is like really, really corny. Like, I just, I'm, look, look, Blackagar Boltagon. Really, really, that's like, that's like if you went around calling when Batman, when Batman's Bruce Wayne instead of Bruce Wayne, Batman was. Batagar Manigan. Like, that's just, that's awful. That's just, <laughs> I'm sorry. Anyway, I digress. As far as being in a fighting game, um, the thing that, the reason why I put Black Bolt in here is because he is supposed to be really freaking powerful, I think, um, as like the king of the Inhumans. And the scale of which his power seems to be, the, the, the magnitude of his abilities, actually could make for some real, like a really cool character in a fighting game. Like, the way where he's where even a, the slightest whisper just can decimate a man into like nothing like that could actually be really dope like in the realm of a fighting game you put that kind of power in the hands of a, of a player in a fighting game um that could be pretty cool i, I imagine that he could do stuff like um, they could even like play around with his ability like maybe he can like whisper slightly and it would like create orbs of like distorted sonic sound in in place and it would like move across the screen slowly you could like shoot it in the air you could shoot it straight forward you can shoot it diagonal downwards when he jumps to kind of like occupy areas of the screen that could be pretty dope and then of course like his strongest super could be where he just like yells just yells and it just like distorts and destroys everything like that would be the, just the magnitude of how powerful he's supposed to be that could be pretty cool yeah so moving on to the next character another inhuman game. Uh, um crystal who actually uh, Contrary to, to Blackagar Boltagon or whatever, uh, she actually has a really nice name from the sound of it. Uh, Crystalia Amakelin? Amakelin? 
Cristalia Amakeli. That actually sounds really nice. Cristalia? I like that. Although it does, it, you know, it does pretty much just sound like a wine or something like Kind of like, now that I think about it, now it kind of sounds like a stripper name. Damn. <laughs> anyway, uh, Crystal. Basically, Crystal, again, there's no X-Men on this list, right? We haven't talked about X-Men yet. That won't be happening yet. That'll be another list. She would basically be Storm, right? Like, all intents and purposes, she'd be, she'd be Storm. Crystal would just be, she'd be Storm, the Storm character. Obviously, you'd make her play, you know, a bit differently to make her more, you know, make her unique, make her all her own. So it'd be kind of cool to see see something like that, uh, basically like a remix on, on on Storm. The next character will be Sentry. This is one of those instances where I I would kind of I used to think Sentry was kind of corny, right? Running around, flying around in an all yellow suit. But you know when you, you you look at him in some of the comics, they make him out to be pretty freaking badass. Like I know he basically just Marvel Superman, right? But you know, I was just like, yeah, all right, yeah, okay, whatever. You're Marvel Superman. You're flying around in this yellow costume. You look kind of corny, whatever. But the way they draw him and the things that he does when he's just relentless, it's just like, oh, damn, this is why you don't fuck with him. <laughs> I think it would be a cool chance to kind of display, like, some of that, you know, like, like basically, you, you, you'd have essentially a Superman character in a Marvel vs. Capcom game. It would give uh, a chance to let, like in-house studio at Capcom or aiding or whatever dev team is working on the on this particular game a chance to actually see a Superman like character and how they would animate and what kind of attacks they would have in a Marvel vs. Capcom because one of the things that you know about like for example like the Netherrealm games they have like the Injustice games not taking anything away from those games because they're great games but I've never been a fan of Netherrealm's style of animating and their sensibilities when it comes to like poses and things they're incredibly awkward a lot of the time and one of the things I've always liked about the Marvel's Capcom games and a lot of other Japanese media and things like that is how expressive they are but how they also when it comes to fighting games they tend to be a bit more knowledgeable about how to make things look less awkward usually but still cool right and still very expressive and that's one of the things I always wanted to see for a character like Superman um, as well as Batman. In this particular case, that would be with Sentry. He would be he would be the Superman. So you get to see basically how would Capcom devs, how would they animate what would equate to their version, uh, Marvel's version of Superman. And I, I think that would just be really dope. Um, so obviously he'd be really powerful. You know, he'd probably be, uh, you know, he, he's like a jack of all trades, but he'd be focused on strength and stuff like that. You know, fly across the screen really quickly. He'd be really strong. And they could really like play around with the visceral nature of what the Sentry can become when he gets angry he just he just has he has a, a tendency of just ripping things in half and just smashing things until it's dead like he just he just tears he just grabs you and he just rips you at the torso or or down the middle whichever way <laughs> whichever way he grabs you and when he pulls it and it tears they probably won't go that visceral with it which I wouldn't want to see that uh, that visceral in, in a Marvel's Capcom game but still being able to create that that sense of viscerality if that's a word what you know without having to have all the guts and stuff that's still possible and just make him just seem brutal it's during certain points in the game like when, you know certain moves or certain states you, know, you can he can oh you could have him even like turn into uh into the void right i don't know exactly know how they would do that because i don't even know exactly all the abilities of the void i just know he's like this all-powerful multiversal threat but that would be really crazy like if he basically had like a dark phoenix kind of thing like for anyone who played marvel's capcom 3 phoenix if she had like i think three bars of meter and she got ko'd or on that last pixel or whatever she would go dark phoenix so basically he would lose himself to the void right before he ko's that could be pretty crazy. I don't know how it would play out, right? He would basically go into like a state where you have like maybe a few seconds to just lay hell to the entire screen, just waste every other party member on the opposing side. And then if you don't do it in time, then he just runs out of energy and then just goes KO. I, I don't know, uh, but that, that kind of stuff, that could be kind of cool, I think. So anyway, move on to the next character. Ant-Man, Scott Lang, probably, and Wasp, Jeanette Van Dyne. Now, immediately, their their powers, like, comes right, like, to my mind. It's like, okay, that's clearly going to be a part of their gameplay, right? Uh, they both kind of have similar powers, 
I guess only one of them could be in the game. Um, and I imagine it would be Ant-Man, Scott Lang, because that's the one who's in the MCU right now. And they basically would be the same, right? Like, Ant-Man would just be a more grounded version, and Jeanette Van Dyne would be one with more maneuverability, like she could fly around, and she could shoot projectiles from a distance and everything. But they're essentially the same kind of character outside of that, I guess. Um, hmm. Maybe they could make them, like, one character. Like, all right, let's think of it if they're one character, right? You, you, you pick Ant-Man, and it, he comes along with Wasp. So Wasp is, like, right there by his shoulder. So he can, like, have her fire out projectiles from a distance, because I don't think Ant-Man can shoot, like, projectiles or anything. So she can, like, fire projectiles for him, or, like, fly off to the opponent in her small form, and, and like, do, like, a command grab, and, like, grab them and attack them from different angles. And then, like, uh, obviously Ant-Man, he can get smaller, too, which I, I guess they'd have to use that in a very smart way, because you can't make him small and just... Ran, like randomly because you might break the game and end up with like a serve bot situation from Marvel vs. Capcom 2 or a Yoda situation from Soul Calibur 4. So um, it would have to be like during like a certain attacks or maybe to evade certain moves you, you have to time it just right where he, sh he shrinks down into different sizes. Um, and then of course like his supers could be where he grows in size and he just starts stomping on opponents or smacking them around or things like that. I think that could be that could be pretty cool, but I definitely would want to see Jeanette Van Dyne because the wasp and her black and gold with the short brown hair, that, she's one of my favorite looking superhero characters in American comic books. Like I, I I don't think she's all that popular and I don't even really know all that much about her, but just from a design standpoint, it's so simple, but I just love it. Like it's just one of the best ones. So I'd like to see her in a Marvel's Capcom game, if anything. But seeing them teamed up together would be pretty cool. Now for the next character on the list, it's either Moon Knight or Blade. Preferably if they're gonna put Blade, design them to look kind of like Wesley Snipes Blade. Honestly, that's like the only Blade that I like. I've seen other Blades here and there, but the Wesley Snipes Blade, I just finished watching a, a clip of Wesley Snipes Blade uh, a, a few days ago. It's still, he's still pretty, pretty cool. He was a badass in that. But the, the point of these characters were um, basically having kind of like, well, just like I mentioned before with the, the Sentry being the Superman character, but in Capcom form, this would be the Batman character, but in Capcom form, right? So it would give a chance for uh, a, a Marvel vs. Capcom style, uh, for us to see like a Marvel vs. Capcom style Batman, right? the animations and everything that was Batman was always one of those characters in particular I mentioned Injustice again I gotta mention him again in NetherRealm Studios I gotta mention him again the animation style the poses I just I never cared for it. if you go back and you look at Batman's pose in Injustice 1 what was that who was that and they, they, they changed it in 2 it's better it looks less awkward but for some reason for me I always liked like the the Arkham games, like you know, I always felt like Batman wouldn't really put up a stance. I feel like he'd just stand there. He'd just stand there, and let his cape drape like drape over his shoulders. You could just about you could still see the bat symbol. It would just drape, just frame the bat symbol just right on his chest, and he just kind of just stand there. And then as you attack him, he just like kind of swoops through the punches like he does on like the Bruce Timms Batman animated series, which is an amazing series. Still, it's still really good, held up really well. And he kind of just swoops through your attacks like just like a shadow, and then just delivers like devastating blows back at you because obviously you know Batman's a master of like pretty much all forms of martial arts so i imagine it would be similar to, it would be our chance to see something like that or at least for me that's something i'd like to see um where it's a more expressive more stylistic uh less awkwardly animated batman style character and i i'd like to see that in the form of perhaps moon knight or blade i'm not sure which one either one i guess but uh I, moon knight is pretty much just batman i think he's pretty much marvel's batman i didn't know much about him until just recently but i think he's pretty much just you know marvel's batman so he might be the way to go i'm not really sure who people would rather see moonlight moon knight or blade or maybe a different character but in this particular case it's just kind of me wanting to see a batman style character but just you know done a bit differently less less awkwardly uh so yeah that's those characters now the next character on the list speaking of batman black cat felicia hart this is another opportunity right to have like basically a capcom like a marvel vs. capcom catwoman that'd be pretty sick too i think like I, it's not something that i always thought of like with the batman thing but as i i thought about batman 
uh, and I thought about like, okay, Moon Knight, Blade, and I was like, hmm, Black Cat. Black Cat's pretty popular, she's pretty cool, she's sexy, you know? She could have some pretty cool moves, combination of acrobatics and claw attacks and whips, and, and she probably could have a pretty fun personality, you know, kind of sassy, right? Kind of loop that all together into how, you know, her gameplay is presented. And it would basically be a way, I mean, it's, she's basically Marvel's Catwoman. So, you, you know, cracking whips and doing all kinds of cat-like things, cat burglary-like things. I feel like it could work pretty well. And so that would be a character I think would pretty, be pretty cool to see uh, in, in a Marvel's Capcom. Moving on from that, this actually kind of like falls right into this next one pretty well too, actually. Carnage. Now, Carnage would basically be the remix to Venom, right? I figure in this game, I imagine in Marvel's Capcom 4, we're, we're trying to, we're revamping the roster, right? We're trying to try different things. We want new characters, characters we haven't seen before, right? That's the point of these lists that I've been doing, is that there's these characters that we haven't seen represented yet. Carnage, I think, would be kind of a cool way to go. Like, he's, I, I, I don't know as much about him as I, I kind of do with Venom, but I feel like he's about the same, but he can, like, change shape a bit more. Like, like he, he's, he's, I don't like his, the way his symbiote is, is a lot more, like, chaotic, and he's a lot more, like, insane, I think. Uh, like, he's, like, mentally disturbed. Of a character and I think it would be kind of cool to see someone like that like basically just Venom remix and just have him like you know he can change he can shape shift his his, his, his his arms and legs and do all kinds of crazy stuff and have him like basically leap around the screen and like this symbiotic kind of like manner that just like lashing out at the opponent and, and just make him really seem like a maniacal kind of creature you know uh, or character you know, because he's, he's pretty much insane, right? So I think that would be kind of cool. He always, he's he's one of the characters that can look really dope, you know? Like, when he's, like, just staring, like, directly into the screen, like, he can look very menacing. So he could be a pretty cool character to play as. Moving on from that, the next character, Scarlet Witch, Wanda Maximoff. I actually, I, I tend to forget about her, but the one thing about her gets me is, and, and out of all these other characters, I've been able to come up with stuff that maybe they could potentially do in the game. But with Wanda Maximoff, uh, Scarlet Witch, I, I don't really know what her powers would be like, you know, because she's like, her powers are like the power of probability or something, right? To the point where she can, like, warp reality. But that's such a broad concept. Like, how do you turn that into just, like, okay, fighting game mechanics, you know? Uh, in, in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, she seems to basically be a telepath, which is I don't believe is what she actually is. So I'm not really sure how to go about like what what would she do i don't know like what do you guys think like how would she fight in a marvel vs. capcom game what would scarlet witch do to make her different you know what would her mechanics be you know if you would play her how would you feel she would play you know i mean i i i imagine maybe she would be like a character who could because of the whole probability thing like maybe she could create like she'd be like a character that could debuff her opponents you know now this is i'm just spitballing here like should they be mess around with like their mechanics so they become slower or or uh maybe certain some of their inputs stop working see that's kind of like meta stuff that that would be really frustrating like it's, i don't know if that would be a good idea but i'm just trying to think of like how her probability powers would work in the realm of a game a, a, a fighting game maybe like she'll have certain abilities where like her powers where she can like create like aura around her like an attack aura you know and and maybe like an orb kind of thing like like strider um i think his aroboros or or like rose from street fighter 4's uh, orbs maybe she can create like these orbs that rotate around her they orbit around her and and maybe she could have like something like where she can create some kind of aura effect that attack like happens every once in a while so that way you have kind of like a probability element there where it's like a certain intervals certain things happen so if you time your combos just right with the intervals you can kind of link up into some like really strong combos i'm not sure that one that, that one's a little tricky maybe you guys can come up with something for scarlet witch um but moving on from those characters those were the new marvel characters but there's still some other characters i did want to mention that i have on the list that are just something i want to kind of like roll through really quickly um and they're basically i'm going to call them the remixed legacy characters um, so that would be basically um, Miss Marvel, 
right? Because we have the original Miss Marvel in Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, so this would be the current Miss Marvel, uh, I believe her name's Camila Khan, right? So basically, seeing her in a Marvel vs. Capcom 4, that would be cool. You know, she would be basically, you know, she, her power, I believe she's basically like Mr. Fantastic, right? I think, all right? So basically just that, you know, but she, with the, her kind of personality, I imagine she's like a teenager, probably like a millennial, and she'd just be, you know, on her cell phone while she's like punching bad guys. And so it kind of like add that kind of element to her uh, in, in the game. And I think that she could be a pretty entertaining character to see. One of the characters I really would like to see, maybe more than any other character on this list, is the Sharon Rogers to the 25th anniversary Captain America. Now, I know that one is like, wait, what? Like who? who? <laughs> a lot, some people might be like, who is that? Who is that even supposed to be? And it is really kind of obscure character, but I really like her character design and I'd really like to see her kind of adapted into Marvel vs. Capcom, uh, a Marvel vs. Capcom 4. They basically just take her moveset from the game that she's from and just take that stuff, because she has some cool moves in that, and just put them in a fighting game, in a fighting game space, and just add more nuanced mechanics to them, you know? I think that would be super dope if they can incorporate her into a game because she looks so cool. I'd, I'd be all for that. I'd play her right away. After her, I have Ghost Rider Robbie Reyes, though, which a lot of people were seem to be questioning why isn't Robbie Reyes already in the Marvel vs. Capcom landscape. I don't know, but I mean, they're just, you know, Capcom saving money by saving, you know, just reusing assets, I guess, that they didn't even want to make a new Ghost Rider. But he would be a remix version of Johnny Blaze, I believe his name is, right? Because that that's the newest version of of Ghost Rider. So just basically, just I don't know exactly how he would change. I don't know that much about Robbie Reyes, but I feel like it would be his turn to kind of like step into the limelight as the current Ghost Rider uh, in a Marvelous Capcom game as well, just like in the comic. Um, so basically, I guess you just switch all like the all the the, the the classic characters, switch them all out for all the the newer ones. So you get like totally awesome Hulk. Uh, in place of Incredible Hulk, so that's Amadeus Cho in place of Bruce Banner. You get Kate Bishop Hawkeye in place of uh, the current Hawkeye. I guess, what would, what would that be? That'd be Jane Foster Thor. I don't even have her on this list, but now that I'm thinking about it, she's Thor now, right? And then there's Unworthy Thor, so you would, you, you, you maybe even make that a separate character, but uh, Jane Foster Thor would be like the current Thor, right? So basically just doing that. I'm reluctant to take the spot of my boy Tony Stark. But based on whatever everything else I'm saying, I guess he would have to be replaced too, right? Because this is a whole new like remix of taking the legacy characters and remixing them with the, the newer uh, generation of characters. So that would mean that Tony Stark would be replaced in this particular game with Riri Williams, right? Give her a chance. It's like, okay, you know, I, I suppose so. So that's those are the characters I wanted to kind of just put out there real quick. Well, the, the, those characters I'd like to see as well potentially just to kind of spice things up you know change the landscape a little bit in Marvel vs. Capcom and uh, I also want to mention some quick honorable mentions of things I'd like to see um, potentially see Agent Venom I don't know much about Agent Venom I just think he seems really cool and I'd like to see him somehow represented Squirrel Girl because I think she could just be a fun character to see in action. I don't know how she'd fight. Maybe she'd just basically be a less porned out version of Makoto Nananya from Blaze Blue. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but I think she'd just be a fun character to see bouncing around the screen. Freaking acorns are popping around. Some, I, don't, I don't even know. Um, and Elektra, because Elektra, because we don't have any X-Men characters right now, Elektra could basically just be Psylocke. And I always had to think of Psylocke in uh, like the, the Capcom fighting game because she just looked really good and she was a serious rush down. She was super quick. So yeah, she'd basically just be the red outfitted version of Psylocke minus the Psy powers. So you just have to make up the Psy powers with her being a, a heavier rush down character with like dashing attacks instead of proje projectile attacks. So she would like dash into you and stuff like that. I'd be cool with that. And also I'd like to see Gamora with her, I guess her all new, all different costume where she has like the galaxy, like the space inside of like her cloak. That, I love that. That's such a cool looking costume design. Just, I just want to see her with that. Maybe they'll put that in, in Marvel's Capcom Infinite. But if not, I'd like to see that as a potential thing for Marvel's Capcom 4. Um, and with that guys, that is pretty much the end. Um, that's the, that's the list. Those are the characters that, for the Marvel characters I'd like to see in Marvel's Capcom 4. 
all characters that have never been technically in a Capcom fighting game or cross crossover fighting game. So those are the characters I like to see. What do you guys think about that list? Uh, what list do you guys have? Uh, of char Marvel characters that you'd like to see in a potential Marvel's Capcom 4. Let me know in the comment section. And uh, yeah, man, I'll see you guys in the next video. This is Fahrenheit, signing out.